Hey YouTube, welcome back to Unix TCG, and we are here today to talk about Android 21 from the Power Absorption Zenkai 03 set. Um, it's been a very, very busy week. Just got back from Miami for One Piece, but we need to do a lot more DBS content, so I will be getting that in. It's just going to have to be, of course, you know, my secondary content because you guys can see the numbers and the views and a dude's got a dude's got a florist channel. Uh, we are almost at 4,000 subscribers, so if you have not currently decided to join the Unix fan, this may be the time. You can always do so by going down and clicking that like button, the subscribe button, notification button, comment on what you think about this archetype, and uh, over the course of the next week, before we go to Dallas for One Piece again, we will be putting up more archetype overviews as well as archetype demos and breakdowns so that you guys can not only have a good grasp going into the set, but also know how some of the bread and butters work. So that being said, let us hop into the cards themselves. All right, so it's time to read these because these are indeed a doozy. Um, the very first card we've got is actually the Android 21 Leader, and that is actually, <laughs> again, look at the amount of this text. It's, this is going to be one, but let's actually get into it. Android 21, permanent, you cannot activate extras, and during your turn, you can't use skills to play battle cards. Okay. Uh, audio, if you have an Android 21 Z battle card in play at the end of your turn, switch up to one of your blue energy to active mode that's cool that's just an auto active main once per turn add one card from your life to your hand look at the top five cards of your deck add up to one blue android card amongst them to your hand shuffle your deck and this card gains plus 5k power for the turn and then awaken when your life is at four or less draw one card and switch up to one of your energy active mode okay there's a couple interesting things about this um i think we can pretty much talk about this on the front not being able to activate extras on your front side is not as detrimental as people would see. Normally, you're gonna to want to start preserving your life with extra cards once you're already awakened. So this isn't pretty. This is this actually just isn't that bad. Um, but you on during your turn, you can't use skills to play battle cards. Okay, so that just straight up means you can't cheat anything out. But a lot of cards get cheated out as counter plays and counter attacks. So that's not necessarily as bad as it could be either. Also, a rival can work on your opponent's turn as well. Uh, an Android 21 Z battle card will allow you to refund your energy. I uh, don't know how long they intend you to be on your unawakened side, but we're going to figure that out soon. And then the ability to add one card from your life to your hand, which is going to be a plus one already. But then also be able to look at the top five of your deck to search for a blue android. That's actually crazy. That's a plus two off this leader. And you don't even have to swing, meaning you can use it on turn one or turn two. This is pretty great. Uh, then to draw one and tap one at four or less life because it doesn't have an alternative win condition That could be dicey if your opponent hits you to five and then smashes your face down You don't have something like um, your block or negate because you can't use extras. So this is Precarious, but we're gonna see what we get on from here Next we've got the awakened side Andrew 10 one nature of evil the nature of evil permanent during your turn You can't use skills to play battle cards So it looks like you can use extra cards once you're awakened Permanent when playing energy costs or paying energy costs for your Android 21 cards, you can use your Android 21 Z battle cards and your opponent's battle cards as unisons or in unisons energy. That is interesting. Tapping your opponent's battle cards as well as their unisons to fuel your things is crazy. Activate main once per turn, draw one card, and then or and choose up to three of your opponent's battle cards and or unisons, ignoring barrier and switch to active mode. This sounds very weird, but the reason why this is happening is because you're going to be able to switch your opponent's stuff to active mode and then retap it as energy. So activate main once again so you don't even have to swing. That's actually pretty neat. Draw one card, then choose up to three of your opponent's battle cards, and you use them as ignoring barrier switch. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Let's see what cards you're ramping up into once you're awakened. Um the first card we're going to talk about in the archetype is a lot of the leader is going to be the one drop searcher android 21 mandatory gathering auto if your leader is an android card when this deck card is played look at, look at five cards from the top of your deck add it to one blue android card with an energy cost of five or less amount to your hand then shuffle your deck at the end of your opponent's next turn play one clone token with one or 10k power to your opponent's battle area auto if your leader is a blue android card when this card is using a combo from your hand play one clone token to your opponent's battle area this is insane. So adding clone tokens to your opponent's side of the board is going to allow you to use them as energy once you're actually awakened. But this is also a search card that can be used in Gamma, this can be used in actually a plethora of decks just because it's blue Android and it searches blue Android. I dig this and it's gonna be making a clone for your opponent if it stays in the board. This is actually crazy. 
This is going to prioritize or have your opponent prioritize in killing a one drop in order to not have you have more energy. Insane, insane. Um, next, we have Android 21, Wavering Will. This is critical in a blocker. Counterplay, play this card. Counterplaying is likely going to happen on your opponent's turn. It can't happen on your turn because your leader is permanent. If it's your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Or auto, when this card is played, choose one. So you either play it just for four. And it's a blocker with critical. That's actually pretty cool. Um, if it's your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. And then at the end of the turn, switch this card to active mode. Oh my gosh. And then if it's your opponent's card, draw one card. So if you use this as a counterplay, not only is it going to come in and it's going to have blocker and it's 20k, but you're going to cantrip it, which is going to help the deck flow. But if... Uh, if you play during your turn for four, you just bottom deck somebody's card. That is... <laughs> That's crazy. Um, this archetype is already lining up. Next, you've got Android 21, Total Audacity. Uh, deflect, Double Strike, she's also costing four. Auto, Limit one. When this card is played, draw two cards. And at the end of your opponent's turn, play one clone token with 10k power to your opponent's battle area. What is the downside here? You're playing her for four using some of your opponent's cards as energy drawing two and then adding another clone token so you get i <laughs> okay okay bandai what have you done this is insane um we're moving on to the dual color ones now this is just this is insane uh you've got android 21 full power counter energy exhaust double strike play this card Permanent, if your leader is a blue android card, negate this card's energy exhaust in all areas. Once again, this is not just 21, this is blue android in general, so we're starting to really expand that boundary. Um, auto, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and uh, place it in its owner's drop. And, you know, like I said, energy exhaust, double strike, counterattack. So this is actually pretty cool. Tap four, counterattack, and since you can use your opponent's cards, you can start tapping things they haven't attacked yet, too attack with attack it with so this is stopping more than one attack because you'll be able to stop or tap multiples of your opponent's things oh my gosh place one of your opponent's battle cards in ignoring barrier place it in its owner's drop and your opponent can't attack with non-leaders for the turn unless they place one card each from their hand and z energy into their owner's drops each time <laughs> who printed these Oh my gosh, this is insane. Hey, yo, yeah, this is this is the wave. This is the wave. Moving on to the next one, we got Android 21, Bewitching Battler. Wow, wow, wow. Energy Exhaust, Unique Double Strike Blocker, 25. She's a five drop. Permanent, you can activate this card's revive from your drop without paying its skill by removing one clone token from your opponent's battle here from the game instead. Auto at the end of the turn, switch this card to active mode, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it or put it in its owner's drop. So you can swing with it for the double strike 25k, then it comes back out for the blocker, and you can remove a clone token from the side of the board instead of paying its revival cost. Alright. Alright, say less. Like, there's literally nothing I can say bad about it. This is all ridiculous. Energy Exhaust, this is uh, Android 21 Ceaseless Despair. You get Energy Exhaust, Deflect, Double Strike, Dual Attack, and then uh, yeah, Permanent while your leader is blue, a blue Android 21 card. Reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one. Okay, that's excellent. Auto, when this card is played, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and place them in the owner's drops. Hmm. Auto, once per turn, when your opponent activates a counter skill, they discard two cards from their hand. Auto at the end of the turn, switch up to five of your in Stop it. Okay, hold up. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. This is snapped. What am I reading? Oh, I don't want to play against this. Oh, my gosh. What am I reading? Where's the downside to this? You can literally just play this tapping your opponent's stuff and tapping your stuff. Nah, fam. Any number of your... Choose any number of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier in place. Why is this a board drop ignoring barrier? Who... Alright, cool. We're moving on. We, this cannot be helped. Let's go over to the Z deck. Um, Android 21, name of peace. Unique, critical. Z stack 1, blue battle cards. When putting this card into play on top of your Z leader or from your Z deck... 
plays up to one of the specified cards from your Z deck under this card, so, you know, you can put something under there. Part when there are no cards on this card, this card gains minus 5k power. Okay. When this card is played, up to one card from your life to your hand, so generally on turn one, you'll be able to activate going down to three, turn two, or going down to seven. They might swing on you to get that off. They might not if in this deck because you gotta. It might delay the turn, but you'll be able to then activate main to get another one, and then you'll play this, and um, this is going to be able to take another card from your life to your hand. So, turn two, you'll be down to five life out of the four you need. Interesting. Auto blue if your leader is a blue android to one card at the start of your opponent's main phase. Play up to one blue android Z battle card with injury cost of four or less from under this card. So, you'll be able to play the other one which is actually pretty cool what's the other one we'll get to that you got android 21 right and this is a uh, interesting one named hunger unique blocker z stack 2 battle cards uh permanent you may choose one of your opponent's battle cards when choosing this card for the z stack conditions oh my gosh so you can steal an opponent's card <laughs> and you're playing it from under this one that's disgusting um, auto, when this card is played, you may rest the top card, or you may place the top card of your deck in your energy in rest mode and choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place the bottom of its owner's deck. Activate main once per turn. Choose up to one keyword card and the skill placed under this card. This card gains the skill until the end of your opponent's turn. Nah, bruh. Nah. <laughs> nah. So, you only have to take one life from yourself from this leader away. Nah, bruh. Look at this. Unstoppable Technique. This is the last card here. Uh, Counterattack Greeter is a blue Android card. Negate the attack and switch up to one of your blue energy active modes. So we Scorsion. Additionally, at the end of your turn, play a clone token. Okay, we Scorsion plus. Permanent, while your life is at four or less and you have a multicolor card in your energy, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its cost by adding one card from your life to your hand. So you can't use this on the front side, but you can use this on the back side. This is, this is goaded. Um, I cannot. This archetype is snapped in half. Like, <sighs> all right, hold up. I don't really think there's anything else that needs to be said about this. Uh, we're eventually gonna go into the demo and the demo's gonna be wild, but this archetype is just, there's no way. There's no way you just print something like this and just don't care. Like, this is insane, insane. And so far from what I've seen, the rest of the set doesn't play on the same level. This is that deck, so. Maybe blue is just the king of the format for quite some time. I just don't know, but like, wow, we really need to sit down and look at this. This is just, this is too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just read all of this too much. Maybe I'm missing something, but uh, we're going to be excited to put this together and make a demo for you. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next installment, and uh, stay tuned for more Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Battle Spirits content. Thanks. Later.